okay uh, so in the last classes we were discussing the some properties of metals or free electron gas which couldn't explain using the classical free electron theory properly so in the last class we have discussed the heat capacity of electrons uh, today we will discuss the electrical conductivity and ohm's law uh, next we have to uh, consider the hall effect and thermal conductivity and weidmann fan's law so today we will going to discuss about the electrical conductivity and ohm's law uh, heat capacity we have discussed the heat capacity already in the last class so coming to the uh, electrical conductivity and ohms law mm. in an electric field e and magnetic field b the force f on an electron of charge minus e can be represented by the lorentz force equation f is equal to minus e e plus b cross b uh, you know this this is the lorentz force acting on any charged particle placed in an electric and magnetic field so let's consider the effect of only a only a constant applied electric volt electric field that is that is a case of um, applying a electric field across the met metal or uh, a metal system that is no magnetic field is applied so what will happen this <coughs> magnetic field term will vanish only the electric field term will exist so that this equation will become f is equal to minus e into e <coughs> so from newton's like second law we uh, we can write this equation as for uh, the force as m into dv by dt v is the velocity of the uh, charged particle that is it is moving through the uh, crystal Uh, when applying the electric field so that the motion can be represented or the force acting on this um, charged particle can be rep represented as m into dv by dt this is acceleration this mass into acceleration form uh, so that the equation will become like this and also the momentum of a free electron related to its wave vector k by the equation h cross k k vector the momentum is represented by mv and it is uh, related to its wave vector by the uh, expression h cross k so we can write this equation momentum like this now m into dv by dt can be written as uh, or differentiating this equation we will get m h cross dk by dt so we have got two equation with the left side same so if you are equating these two equation we can write h cross dk by dt is equal to minus e into e and dk is equal to minus e by h cross dt so we will get an equation for dk like this if you are integrating this equation <coughs> we will get k of t minus k of 0 is equal to minus e by h cross into t so this represents a change of wave vector uh, from t is to uh, zero or from zero to t so that this can be represented as delta k this means the change in the wave vector which is equal to minus e by h cross t so what does this equation mean that is this under the influence of influence of a constant force f here the force is due to the electric field the applied electric field acting for a time interval t every electron orbital has its wave vector increased by delta k is equal to f d by h cross or uh, minus e e by h cross into t where e e is the force acting on the electrons or the charged particle due to the applied electric field okay uh, that means when we are apply uh, so uh, Uh, this is uh, in brief we can explain this situation like this that is consider a metal a metal uh, is of having uh, free valence electrons free in the crystal uh, lattice uh, so uh, it can be acted as a conductor only when we are applying an electric field otherwise it won't act as a uh, conductor okay uh, so when we are applying the electric field what will happen and uh, the the charged particles are experienced by an or uh, by a lorentz force in the presence of the electric field so its wave vector is changed by a factor of 
delta k that is it's moving through the crystal by the action of the electric field that is an uh, that is a lorentz force is acting on every charged particle in the system by the action of the electric field and so that the electrons getting uh, move in the inside the crystal that is that is how this conduction occurs in the uh, inside the crystal system that is how conduction occurs okay this is the <clears throat> this is uh, the theory of conductivity inside the metals or uh, free electron gas system in simply so here I, I have given a note geometrically this can be represented as the displacement of the whole fermi sphere by delta k uh, so we are considering a metal system of free electrons so the system as a whole can be considered as a uh, is a fermi gear system so it can be assumed a, as a fermi sphere so uh, the shifting of its wave vector by a factor of delta k means delta k means the whole fermi sphere is shifted by a by a um, displacement vector delta k in the absence of the electric field the net momentum of the electron gas is zero <coughs> In absence of the electric field no force is acting so the net moment and uh, electrons are not moving the so the fermi gas uh, sphere is not moving so the net momentum is zero because every uh, for um, because for every orbital k there is an or occupied orbital at minus k but as the fermi sphere k is displaced this fermi sphere uh, is displaced as a whole by the application of the force there is an unbalanced net momentum h cross delta k for each electron and an increase in kinetic energy of h cross delta k all square by 2m so when we are applying the force or electric field uh, there is a net change in the uh, momentum of the total momentum of this fermi sphere and and so there is an increase in its kinetic energy by the factor h cross delta k whole square by that is it is of the form p square by 2m this this represents the momentum term so it is of the form p square by 2m so there is an increase in its kinetic energy that house that that's how the electrons are getting moved when we are applying the electric field this is the geometrical interpretation if there are n electrons representing the total uh, gain in momentum can be represented as n into h cross k so that the kinetic energy is n into h cross delta k all square by 2m <coughs> so this is how conductivity occurs when an electric field is applied through the uh, to the um, metal system okay